Hello YouTube, just wanted to give you an update on my rat rod. Been out here messing around with it a little bit. Stepped outside to see how much it snowed. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of messing with the old camera. Making the whole screen blurry. It's trying to zoom in on each flake, but it's putting it down pretty good. I'm about ready for it to quit. It's fun getting to work in the morning. But that's part of it. Been out here playing around with this thing the last few days. Trying to get a little wiring done. Got a fuse block snuck in the dash there. I did have a glass fuse box uh, or glass fuse style box. That's the older style. Decided to use the more modern I guess eight fuse block, six fuses. I don't need many. Probably won't use that many. I did sneak a old six volt starter off an old tractor down in there. Put it in an odd place. Be a little different. Made a shifter knob or shifter shaft itself. I had to make one because the original shifter, when you go to second gear, it would hit the dash right about where that switch, right below the switch, hit it, it would hit right in there. And you couldn't get all in second, it wouldn't take it in. But I made this one, left it kind of long. Uh, don't cut it off wherever I need it, may leave it that long. Get some cool knob to put on the bottom of it. There's my seat I've been driving around on, piece of firewood. Yeah, battery's still on the floorboard. I do have a battery box made here, just haven't got it in there yet. Just been out here messing around, just playing. Just checking out that shifter knob to see how high it is. The steering wheel is pretty high in this truck because I got the original steering. The light's pretty bright there, it kind of blinds the camera. There's my gas pedal, piece of rod right now. Works pretty good. Put a little paint on the frame and cross member there I made just to make it look a little different. Just old tractor paints, Massey Ferguson Gray. Uh, last video I put on here, I put on here that I was going to be working on that grill. That's kind of been a thing to the, put to the side. I need a metal brick to do what I want to do. I don't have one. I seen one the other day at Tractor Supply or Northern Tool for 200 bucks or so. Hadn't got it yet. It's another project I've been dreaming about. I've had it since I had the cab off the other truck. I don't know if you can see it too well. It's kind of dark over here. It's an S10 frame, or a Toyota frame, S10 frame, I don't know which, can't remember what the guy told me. It's been totally closed in, I don't remember what they call that. Boxed frame. The guy who started the project, done a pretty good job. Got a Speedway front end, two axle front end, disc brakes. It's more front end than you'll need. The way he had it set up was, you know, the engine's back pretty far, he wanted that long look to it. Looks kind of cool, it's growing on me the more I look at it, the more I like it that laid back. I found a 350 engine on Craigslist. Might fit on there pretty good. Uh, only thing about it, you might have to find some shorter leaf springs to shorten them up if I do have to cut off the tail end of this frame. Because it sticks out there a good 18 or 20 inches. If I find a sedan or a coupe body that I want to put on there, I may have to rearrange it a little bit. I think it'd be a little different to have a coupe body in front of it, the front firewall being right behind where that engine is now. That long front end. I don't know if I can back up and get a shot of how long it is. But that's the project I've been thinking about in my head, trying to get something lined up with. It was kind of silly to have two going, but ah, something to do. It is my plan this weekend to chop this cab three to four inches. I can't decide. I'm going to go look on the computer all week and get everything I need. And look on YouTube and find some videos of guys chopping cabs and make sure I know what I'm doing because I have never done one. 
my next video I plan will be chop it as, uh, as I'm chopping it well, I'll make one or two got a guy that's going to help me me and him put our heads together we ought to be able to get it cut down a little bit see some of the more radical ones cut six inches or so I don't plan on going that deep with it but I just want it to look a little different get that tall look out of it but that's where I'm at now just been out here playing around I think it's time to go inside and go to bed I gotta go to work early it's gonna be fun driving in that snow tomorrow That's it.